Hi, this is Miss Scott with your 8.4 notes on volume of rectangular prisms. The volume of a three-dimensional figure is a measure of the amount of space that it occupies. Volume is, measure, is measured in cubic units. So up till now we've been doing square units because we've been measuring area. But this is volume, so we'll use cubic units, units like meters cubed or centimeters cubed, things like that. The volume is the product of the area of the base and the height of a 3D figure. The formula is written as A equals BH. Notice that's a capital B, which stands for the area of the base, or area equals length times width times height for a rectangular prism. Example number one says find the volume of the rectangular prism. So let's write our formula first. Volume equals the area of the base times the height. Notice that the base is a rectangle. To find the area of a rectangle, we do length times width. For this rectangle, that's 7 eighths times 1 half. And the height of our prism is 5 eighths. Now we'll multiply. 7 times 1 times 5 is 35. 8 times 2 times 8 is 128. So the volume is 35 128 and the units is meters cubed. In example number 2 it says write and solve an equation to find the height of the computer tower. Notice in your picture here that h, the height, is missing but that they give us the volume is 1,792 inches cubed. We'll start with the formula. Volume equals the area of the base times the height. This time we know the formula, or we know the volume, so we'll fill that in for V. 1,792 equals the area of your base is a rectangle that's 16 by 7 and the height again is missing so we'll just leave that as our variable h. Now we'll simplify. We'll leave the 1792 on the left. We'll do 16 times 7 on the right to get 112 and then we have times h. To solve this we'll go back to our equation solving strategies and we'll do the inverse operation. So we'll divide by 112 on both sides. 1792 divided by 112 is 16 and then on the right hand side we have h. So your final answer is that the height is 16 inches. On the back you have your on your own responses. Number one is a rectangular prism. Remember to write your formula first. Uh, number two is also a rectangular prism but this one is like example two where you're finding the missing height. Number three, notice that it says to draw a picture, write an equation, and solve the equation to find the height of the prism. The picture will really help you find the answer to that one. All right, so that is it for your 8.4 notes. See you tomorrow.